Welcome to this week's Overwatch news without the bullshit. Let's get started. The upcoming anniversary event now has a release date, confirmed to be lasting from the 22nd of May to the 11th of June. The event will include 8 new legendary skins, 3 new epic skins, and 3 new dance emotes for the heroes who don't already have them. The event will also grant access to all previous cosmetic items from any past events, which will be mixed in with the event loot boxes. It should be noted that all loot boxes have a guaranteed anniversary item within them. The anniversary event will also feature every single previous event brawl, which will rotate on a daily basis. A new deathmatch map called Petra has also been announced, which will most likely be based on the real Petra site, located in southern Jordan. A full event reveal is set to drop a day after this video is uploaded. Until this event goes live, players can still purchase the Pink Mercy skin, which has so far raised nearly $10 million for breast cancer research. Between this and now reaching 40 million players worldwide, it's clear that Overwatch is still very much alive. Moving along to balance changes, Hanzo is currently undergoing some internal testing, which will see his Storm Arrow damage be reduced from 80 to 70 damage per shot. This will now make it impossible to one-shot any full health hero while using this ability. There is also more news on the Symmetra rework, which now allows her turrets to be destroyed in mid-air and allows her teleporter to be used in both directions. The teleporter will also require a button input to enter, and it's been mentioned that a cooldown has been put in place, which will mean players will not be able to instantly go back through a portal they have immediately used. Jeff Goodman has mentioned that due to these new features, Symmetra can now be used to teleport an entire team out of a graviton surge, along with other experimental strategies. It will be good to see Symmetra soon having enough utility to become worth running on a team. Players who have not heard of the entire Symmetra rework can watch the video I made, covering all the details. Moving along to the strangest story of the week, ex-pro player and full-time streamer XQC had police called to his new address this week after a concerned neighbor contacted the police after a noise complaint. XQC, usually known for his high-energy streams, could not hear police at his door, who eventually entered his house and made him leave his room with his arms raised above his head. No one was hurt during this misunderstanding. In other news, the last stage of the Overwatch League has officially begun, and Pine is auditioning for Korea's Got Talent. 